Uh, good morning, my name is Brenda Ortiz. I am Associate Professor in the Department of Crop, Soil and Environmental Sciences. Um, how climate impact cattle producers in the Southeast? I think I, I will start by saying that climatologists in the Southeast has been studying the sources of climate variability for almost 40, 50 years. Why looking at the sources of climate variability? Because they have observed that uh, there is a change in climatic conditions from year to year. So what is causing those changes? They have found that uh, El Niño Southern Oscillation has three phases, El Niño, La Niña, and Neutral phases. And each one of those phases have a different impact on our climate. They also have found that the strong impact or, or the strong relationship between the different ends of phases and our climate is during the winter and spring months. El Nino phase can be described as a warming of sea surface temperatures on the Eastern Pacific. When we are under the influence of El Nino phase, we might expect a increase in rainfall and a decrease in ambient temperatures with respect to the historic average values. When we are under the influence of La Nina phase, especially during the winter and spring months, we might expect a reduction of rainfall during the winter months with respect to average values and a increase on ambient temperatures. But the impact of El Nino and La Nina phase is not the same throughout the Southeast. So the southern counties or the counties closer to the Gulf Coast are the ones that are going to experience the true effect of those phases meaning that dry and hot climatic conditions during the winter and spring months, if we are under the influence of La Nina. Wetter and cooler conditions during winter and spring months, if we are under the influence of El Nino. The opposite might be observed at the northern counties. The northern counties, if we are under the influence of El Nino, might experience a reduction of rainfall during the winter and spring months and a increase in precipitation during La Nina phase offense. How that might impact cattle producers? Plant growth and development is going to be impacted. So we might experience a negative impact on hay production if we are under the influence of La Nina phase. The other thing is heat waves or the increase of ambient temperature might have an important influence on, on animal behavior and also milk production. I will encourage the cattle producers to look at the climate forecast and use that climate forecast as the other tools that will play a role into the decision-making process.